Sitting round the campfire singing songs of yore Playing till my fingers are sore cause they always want one more Yeah, we're sitting around the campfire singing songs of yore Playing till my fingers are sore on the campfire troubadour Well, a good day to you, fair gentlemen and ladies. Thank you for joining me today for a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson. Now, they call me two wives, the Campfire Troubadour, singing songs of yore and songs about yore. Now, today I'll be singing for you a song called The Cuckoo's Nest. Now, this is a Scotch-Irish body song that was and still is popular, extremely popular, actually, throughout the British Isles in the British North America. Now the title was common slang for the time period that referred to a woman's nether regions. It dated to at least the early 18th century and appears in numerous 18th and 19th century dance collections. The song was known to be a favorite of Davy Crockett. It was even preserved in a chime clock of the period manufactured in New Windsor, Connecticut. Now it varies from most body songs in that the man's objective is not to have his way with the maid and then leave, but to actually marry her. Likewise, she is not a strumpet, nor does she rebuff him. The maid in question is quite willing to be compliant as she sees his desire to make her his wife. I was a walking one morning in May. I met a pretty fair maiden, and unto her did say, For love I am inclined, and I'll tell you me mind that me inclination lies in your cuckoo's nest. Me darling, said she, I am innocent and young, and I scarcely can believe your false deluding tongue, yet I see it in your eyes, and it fills me with surprise that your inclination lies in me cuckoo's nest. Now some like a girl who is pretty in the face, and some like a girl who is slender in the waist, but give to me a girl that will wriggle and twist, for at the bottom of her belly lies the cuckoo's nest. Then me darling says he, if you see it in me eyes, think of it as fondness and do not be surprised. For I love you, me dear, and I'll marry you, I swear, if you let me clap me hand on your cuckoo's nest. Me darling said she, I can do no such thing, for me mother often told me that it was committing sin. Me maiden had to lose and me sense to be abused So have no more to do with me cuckoo's nest Me darling said he, it is not committing sin But common sense should tell you that it is a pleasing thing For you were brought into this world to increase and do your best And to help a man to heaven with your cuckoo's nest Then me darling said she, I cannot you deny, for you've surely won me heart by the roving of your eye, yet I see it in your eyes that your courage is surprised, so gently lift your hand in me cuckoo's nest. Now some like a girl who is pretty in the face, and some like a girl who is slender in the waist. But give to me a girl that will wriggle and twist, for at the bottom of her belly lies the cuckoo's nest. So this couple, they got married and soon they went to bed. And now this pretty fair maid has lost her maiden head. In a small country cottage they increase and do their best. And he often claps her hand on her cuckoo's nest. 
Now some like a girl who is pretty in the face And some like a girl who is slender in the waist But give to me a girl that will wriggle and twist For at the bottom of her belly lies the cuckoo's nest Yes, some like a girl who is pretty in the face Some like a girl who is slender in the waist But give to me a girl that will wriggle and twist For at the bottom of her belly lies the cuckoo's nest For at the bottom of her belly lies the cuckoo's nest Well, thank you for joining me today For a wee bit of singing and a wee history lesson I hope you enjoyed our time together, and until we meet again, I remain your humble servant, Two Wives, the Campfire Troubadour.